Hello and welcome back. We are playing Dark Secrets. In the last episode, we walked through a forest and after that got a phone call that told us our not so dear daddy has died and now we are heading for the funeral. But first, we shall do some exploring in this serene little town called Calmwood. Hello. It's actually quite beautiful here. Nice, quaint little town. Not many people around. No people at all, I suppose. The local gas station, as you can see, is called Roy and something. Roy and something, okay. Hello, Roy. Open between. Oh, gas station door. It's closed. Not that it matters. I have no reason to go inside anyway. Okay. Some barrels of oil, I guess. Oh. Cigarette butts. What did it say? Polk uh, oil? No, just kidding. It says folk oil. Oil? As a beer, I guess. My Swedish isn't that good. So I guess that is. Uh, people's beer. In English. Okay. Not quite readable. Roy and Roger. Roy and Roger. Hmm. I could see myself living in a town like this. Such a nice place. A local supermarket, I guess. Behind fence number one. Jump. Okay, I guess no jumping in this one. Hello. What is here? Okay. Giant fence. Going around the fence to see if I can get in. What? The, what the? What is over there? And how do you get in? Damn it. Okay. Can I uh, borrow this bicycle maybe? Okay, maybe not. Calm Woods Nair Chirp. Post. Hmm. Nair Chirp. Uh, close by. It's the local store. I don't think I need anything. Okay, no shopping. Now, where is everybody? At least it's a very nice weather. Oh, hello. There's somebody. Hello. Who are you? Old man. I'm sorry, what are you looking at? Oh, sorry, I didn't see you coming there. No, nothing special. I'm just admiring the old antique shop. Hmm. 
I guess the building is quite nice, but I can't really see anything to admire about it. Well, you can never be sure what's inside. One person's chunk could be another one's treasure. That's true. I'm guessing you like antiques. You could say that, but I just walked past and thought about the man who used to live there. It was an old antique dealer by the name of Henry. I see. I hope one of his children will take care of the place. I would hate for all the things to just lie around. I know he had a son, Arthur I think his name was. Not really sure what happened to the kid though. He vanished a few years ago. Very sad. Hmm. Did you know Henry? Not really, but everyone knows. Who he was. He had a habit of getting into trouble, nosing around things that people would rather keep secret. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I heard. What more can you tell about his son Arthur? Don't really know all that much about him. Quiet kid. Kept most to himself. They say he was the spitting image of his father. I wonder what happened to him. Yeah, it's a mystery. <laughs> so, I guess I'm not telling him that I'm Arthur. Are you perhaps a collector yourself? Well, nothing fancy, but sure, I collect the oddities every now and then. What kind of oddities would that be? Oh, nothing special, really. It's only for my own enjoyment. Something to pass the time. Well, goodbye. Well, have a good day, sir. Yes, you too. So, I guess... This is my father's shop. So, one of these places. Or... At least he was staring at one of these buildings. That's old antiques. Home sweet home, I guess. Uh, any mail? Doorbell. No answer. No. It's locked, of course. How am I going to get inside? Okay, take the shovel and dig your way through to the cellar. Okay, maybe not. Let's see. Can I go down here? It's locked from the other side. How about this one? It's locked from the other side. I hear a dog barking. Oh, puppy! Hello! This is such a nice little place. I wonder why ever Arthur wanted to leave here. So, what about this one? Backyard gate. Going in. What's up? I better close it. Oh, my father's uh, it's old car. Oh, the hammer. Take it. Yes. Anything else? Car window. I can see the key to the house lying in front of the seat. That's just great. It's locked. So I guess I'll. Continue with the tradition of hammer time. Okay, I guess not. Better way to get the key. Nothing. Okay. No open windows. Here. 
except pretty flowers. I could just reach that key. I will take it. If I could just reach the key. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to smash the window with the hammer. Who cares? The car is yours anyways. What, what the... What is this? Is this the piece of string? Hmm, okay. Guess the back door is locked too. Hmm. Yeah. So, what can I do with the string? So, was this window open or not? It looks like it is. Let's see, can I do something with this piece of string? Can I combine it with the hammer? No, uh, no. No, I can't combine those two sort of things. Yeah, I get it. Use piece of string for car window. If I only lower the string to the window, how would that help? Well, was there a hook? Wait a minute, do I have to take the hook with the hammer? Oh, come on! Stairs, my greatest enemy. Inventory. Hammer. No. Use hammer on this. I guess not. So I need some sort of hook or a nail that I can bend, but I don't really see any 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 anything like that anywhere. Hmm. Oh come on! Well. Is a problem. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. So can I open these gates now? I guess not. Hmm. Now where the hell is that thing I would need? Let's see. Here, do I have to go outside? Back door. I should take a look inside first before I go to the funeral. Okay, so the answer is somewhere around here. Hmm. Can I use the hammer on the back door? Shit. Uh, come on, use hammer on the back door. I don't want to use the hammer on that. <laughs> Why? Oh. <sighs> Let's continue walking around this place. Maybe I'll notice something. Oh, nails. Nails, yes. That's it. Loose nails. Hammer. Use. Hammer on loose nails. Excellent. There, I got a nail. I should be able to find some use for this. Yes, you should. Oh, it's already bent. Excellent. Combine this with this. Now, improvise fishing hook, go back, close book, and fish for the key. Do I do it from this side? No. But if this window is open, is it open like a little bit or... don't know. Use improvise fishing hook, car window. I can't get the key from here, it's too far away. Jesus Christ. 
So this window is open too, I guess. Now, let's see. Almost got it. Almost. You can do it, Arthur. There. Yay! Well, look what we have here. I didn't scare you, did I? I came by the open door for you. It seems you're already as crafty as your old man. Kent. So the lost son has returned, huh? How long has it been? Four years? Five years, actually. Okay. So I've been away for, from this place for five years. I guess good. I see. I guess you're a real city boy then. <laughs> How was your trip? It was okay. Good. No, I haven't just got here. I see you will probably see here at the funeral then. Uh, when is the funeral? The funeral is an afternoon at 2. Okay. Still have a few hours away. Here. Tourist map? Oh. Okay. And a guide for the tourists. You know, to promote the village a little. And exactly how many tourists have you each year? A few here and there. Okay, great. <laughs> Hopefully, those will be useful. Well, thanks. At least I won't get lost in or miss any important tourist landmarks. So, about my father. How did he die? Your father died of a heart attack, I'm guessing it happened while he was sleeping. Uh, didn't... In the first episode, I guess I was f playing as the father. I was walking through a forest and... Uh, after that fell down stairs and now they tell I had a heart attack. Okay. Who found him? That would be me. No one had seen him for over a month, so I got a little worried. So he was dead for a month. Ew, must have been a sight to see. Or all bloated and. Oof. There's. There he was in his bed, just in from the smell he would have been dead for over a week. What was the new thing was he working on before he died? Oh. We didn't really speak that much about it, okay? We actually didn't speak at all. <laughs> okay, I guess you could say that Henry was even more Henry than usual, if it, that makes sense. So... Did Dad leave any <laughs> money? Is that what his trip is all about for you? No, of course not. Well, maybe. Your father wasn't the rich man, but you probably knew that already. All he really had was his shop and all the things he collected over the years. Yeah. I wanted to ask something else about my sister. Does she th still live here? It's just like me. It must be four years ago. Stayed in Cornwood, at least. What are she up? What are she up? Oh, Grandma. Oh, Grandma. Why don't leave me? I'd rather not say. Oh, why, what's going on? Just ask her yourself. Okay. And. I guess... I think I want to look around the shop for a little while. Alright, I will see you at the funeral then. 
I'm guessing this place brings back a lot of memories. I guess so. Are you sure you don't have anything else you wish to talk about before I go? No, I'm sure. I... I'm sure I can talk to you later. Hopefully. Bye-bye. One last thing. In case you forget, I won't tell her troublemakers in this village. <laughs> Just because your father recently passed away, I won't give you a special treatment. Do we understand each other? Punk. Yeah, sure. Okay then, I will see you later. Goodbye. Mr. Policeman, walking backwards. Kent. Goodbye. But now, we shall end this episode before we go and see what antique treasures father has been able to accumulate during these five years that I've been away from this quaint little nice town. Until then, good night. <laughs>